Okay, so I said earlier that in songwriting there are no rules, there are only tools that you can use. And we'll get to the tools as we go. But I also said, oh, except for one. There is one rule. And that is the rule of prosody. Prosody. P-R-O-S-O-D-Y. Prosody. What prosody means, essentially, is everything fits together. And that's just common sense. That everything in your song should be there for the same reason. To express the central emotion, the central idea, the central purpose of your song. Now the concept of prosody was, at least to my knowledge, first expressed by Aristotle in his Poetics when he said that every great work of art exhibits the same characteristic. And he called that characteristic unity. Everything fits together. Everything works together. That's the same thing. Unity, prosody, that everything about the work is there to enhance, to express, to communicate, to focus the central idea of the work. All of the elements work together. And really, you know, you can think of that as a rule. That's just common sense. I mean, why would you want to put anything in your song that doesn't belong there, that doesn't aid and abet the communication of the emotion, whatever that emotion is, the communication of the emotion that the song is there to express, that one idea that the song is there to express, that one central message, that one why that the song is there to express. So that this concept of prosody, this concept of everything fitting together, everything working together to create that powerful punch in the song, is the common sense rule, not only of songwriting, but of filmmaking, of painting, of choreography, poetry short stories, novels, anytime you are in the business of creating art, the concept of prosody is in play. It covers everything. Now I've found that probably the most effective vehicle for expressing prosody are the two terms, stable unstable. Stable, wax on. Unstable, wax off. Because stable versus unstable covers everything. It's a fairly broad brush, but it covers everything. What idea are you dealing with? And then, is that idea stable or unstable? And then you unroll your tool belt and use those same tools that you have, which we will talk about, to create either this sense of stability or instability. So ideas. The ideas that you have, what are they? characterize them as stable or unstable. I'm so grateful that you're in my life. Feels pretty stable to me. I'm so grateful that you're in my life. I wish you were here. Stable or unstable. I wish you were here you can tell by my tone of voice, really, that there's a sense of longing there, a sense of 
something not there that I want to be there, so I'm feeling a little bit unstable. Let's go back to, I'm so grateful that you're in my life. Could be, I'm so grateful that you're in my life. And now you can hear the butt charging over the hill with its lance lowered, making it feel like, I wish you were, you, I'm, I'm so grateful, but, but something bad is about to happen. Uh, so your tone of voice is going to give you, and we'll talk about tone of voice in detail at some point, uh, but your tone of voice is, go, is going to be your cue. Uh, 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 I finished my song. <laughs> Stable. I finished my song. Why can't I talk to you? Why can't I talk to you? Why can't I talk to you? So that you know how you feel. Here's your idea, and that idea will be either stable or unstable to some degree. You're the best. You're the best. Stable or unstable? Yeah, you know. You know, you can answer that. You're the best. You're the best. Stable or unstable? We can make the world a better place. We can make the world a better place. Is that all there is? Is that all there is? I want more from you. I want more from you. I want more from you. And there's two different degrees of instability. And by the way, I want more from you. Feels really stable. He's moving on. Maybe a little different then. I'm moving on. Or, he's moving on. So why can't you be with me? He's moving on. Good for him. It'll be a good life. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. And so you have all of these different colors and the tools that you have available your melody, your harmony, your melodic rhythm, your harmonic rhythm, your lyrical tools, which we'll talk about in detail too, are all there to help you craft your idea. But the first thing to do is say, how am I feeling? In this song, stable or unstable, in this verse, stable or unstable. In this line, stable or unstable. How am I feeling? And you can literally go, either whole song, unusual for an entire song to be, <laughs> or, <laughs> It is quite usual for a song to go, uh, uh, or, uh, uh. those are technical terms. You can spell those out. Uh, but, uh, you know, the verse is, I was so lonely, and then I met you, and now I'm lonely again, because <laughs> I met you. <laughs> uh, so it, uh, it, it, it's a very flexible thing. But once you start viewing the whole process of creation of the song through the central idea of prosody, that everything must work together, everything fits together to communicate the central idea, and start assessing the sections of your song, 
the lines of your song, the general intent of your song through the grid of stable, wax on, versus unstable, wax off. Then the process of making choices, which songwriting is all about, which art is all about, making choices, making choices for a reason. Then you no longer have to depend on things just coming up intuitively, although that's great. But as they come up intuitively, you are now in a position to say, ah, so does this intuitive idea that I have fit into this unity that I'm trying to create? And this idea, does it support this unstable feeling that this verse has? So once you start organizing it in that way, the whole process of making choices clears up.